So folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the huddle function that's inside of Slack Pro. Now, this will give you an idea of how it works and a little bit more about whether it will be useful for you and your team. So as you can imagine, Huddle was created by Slack in order to help teams and that conversation that happens after meetings. Now, sometimes this was designed for post meetings, but in other mentions of it, it's actually designed as a Discord like tool to be able to communicate whenever you're inside of a channel. So in order to do this, you need to be inside of a channel in Slack. Now in the bottom left hand corner, you'll notice this radio icon with the channel name. And as you can see, if I move between them, the channel name changes. Now you can see here that I can start the huddle in this specific conversation. And it's actually a shortcut if you want to use it. Now, as you can see, it's currently me talking in the huddle and my microphone has come on. This actually, when opening up, actually gives you the option to turn on your microphone or not. In the middle here, you can actually start sharing your screen. So you can share your entire screen or a specific window that you have open. And you can even invite people to the huddle. So as you can see, it's just me in here right now. But one of the features that I particularly like was actually the ability to see captions. You can do that by pressing more options and turn on captions. Now, as you can see, what comes up is a live transcription when, for example, you're watching the huddle. So one thing I quite like is actually not necessarily joining in conversations all the time. And as you can see, you could follow the conversation with each person that is interacting using the captions function, meaning you could stay muted whilst hearing what other people are saying, whether that's, for example, without any sound, if you don't use headphones, or if it was to do with, for example, you communicating with headphones and you wanted to just be able to keep it updated with the text version of that, that is helpful. Now over here, you can change your audio preferences and that's just helpful if you wanted to change the camera option and also the audio function. But this is a great way just to save yourself a bit of time inside of a huddle to get an idea of what's going on. Now, as you can see here in this bottom left hand side, you're currently only in the huddle, but more people will come up. You can mute yourself at any given time and to leave the huddle, all you have to do is to exit and it'll give you a prompt of your experience there. And you'll know you're not in a huddle or live with the fact that in the bottom left hand corner, this will be currently in sort of unchecked and you can mute yourself if you did not want to be part of the conversation. Now, as you can imagine, huddle can be quite a helpful function to being able to just have quick conversations with people without necessarily jumping into a full blown meeting and ask those questions that you might do inside of the office. It's the equivalent of tapping somebody on the shoulder. You get an indication of who's in the huddle and in the conversation when you're viewing certain channels. And in the top right hand corner, there's an indication of whether you're in a current huddle inside of your account. So that's really helpful in particular so that people don't really nudge you whilst you're in a huddle and overload your sort of messages. So that was an overview of how the huddle function works. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions. If you're new here, please do hit subscribe and we'll talk to you again in a future video. Cheerio.